Hi folks, Lee from the Dutchman Journal and today we're going to do a little compost tea making. I have a little different take on the way uh, I make my compost tea and um, I'm willing to share it with people just so they have a different direction to go when they decide that that's something they would like to do. What I want to show you today is a different technique that I use for composting. This I make my compost tea with. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I make a, uh, I have a sifter that I use to make uh, compost from my leaf mulch, some combined with my chicken manure from my nine little chickens, or six little chickens that I have. And here is where I put my house greens and vegetables into this 30 gallon drum. It has a pipe running through it. It's a very simple mechanism. And I have a, a hatch cut into it. And inside of there I throw my vegetables. Now, I'm going to warn you, inside of here, you will see a lot of activity going on. And that activity is from the larva of the black soldier fly. That's what they tell me anyhow. That's the the larva that is doing most of the compost thing. And over here I have a little spigot with a cork in it. Now what I'll do is I'll take my container and inside of this, behind this little spigot is a filter to keep the little larva from falling into the container. This is a 32 ounce uh, uh, measuring cup and all I do is I open this and then turn it And out comes the liquid from the uh, compost. It's already, it's a highly concentrated amount. It's already been, uh, uh, when a lot of people make compost tea, they take the compost, they put it in a sock, they put it in through their container, and then they let it purge in the water. In my case, it's already a concentrate. And... Uh, I'm ready to go with this. Like I was saying, it's highly concentrated. I brought it out here to the greenhouse. Just can you, so you can see, it is uh, uh, maybe the consistency of uh, uh, light syrup. And I have eight ounces in there and that's all I need because I'm going to make uh, three gallons of compost tea. If you have city water, I suggest that you uh, let the water sit open overnight in the container so that the chlorine and the fluoride gases can escape from it because they would probably kill some of the microorganisms that you want to create in this tea mix. What I have here is a um, simple, cheap... Uh, fish tank, aquarium, aerator. I believe it costs about seven dollars. I have one stone and I just took a, a bolt and put the, or nut I should say, not a bolt, put the nut on the end of the of the uh, aerator and um, that's just to hold it down so it doesn't float around. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my concentrate. It's already a, a tea blend. Uh, actually, you could probably use it uh, just like this. However, I want to um, I want to make my tea with some molasses and with some uh, 
uh, fish uh, fertilizer in it. Here I have my molasses. It's non-sulfured. I use I buy this in bulk because I make a lot of uh, lure for trapping and uh, attracting uh, white-tailed deer. I'm going to add about two ounces of the uh, molasses to my mix. Then I'm going to add oh about two tablespoons of my fish emulsion that I have here. It's fish fertilizer. Well that's it. It's ready to go. I'm going to drop my aerator line in the center. And plug it in. And there you see it's starting to uh, bubble up. I'm going to leave this here for 24 hours. I'll come back and check it for 24 hours. I don't like it to last too too much longer than that because uh, a lot of the uh, microbes start to die off. So uh, two hours we'll see, we should see, a, or excuse me, 24 hours we should see a, a foam develop on this. Here we are approximately 24 hours after starting our tea and you can see there is a foam that goes on little bubbles around the side that's exactly what I'm looking for there should be uh, plenty of uh, microbacterial uh, action in there and that's actually what's going to provide the nutrients to the plants what I'm going to do is remove the aerator in the cup that I used for um, measuring out the liquid from the compost barrel and later I will go ahead add a little Clorox to that fill it up with water and let it aerate for 10-15 minutes to clean it just to show you what I've done I've uh, poured my uh, tea into my watering can and now I'm going to take it out to the area that I'm going to feed. This is a little plot of sweet corn that I've planted and it's doing excellent. This is for the fall. I planted this about two and a half weeks ago and you can see the beautiful growth that I have here and of course next to that I've planted some peas. Snap and I'll be feeding both of these plants. Uh, what I want to point out is what I do before I feed my plants is that I water the ground and what that does is it breaks down any kind of surface tension so that the uh, fertilizer will be immediately absorbed into the soil. So all I do is very simple Take my watering can and just go down the road in between the plants. I only store the uh, tea for approximately no more than a week. I put it in a container, seal the container. You gotta leave the cap a little loose because it will build up and it could explode on you, which you don't want that to happen. So you let the gases evaporate from the top of the lid, but I do put a cap on it. So that's about it for now. I'm gonna use the balance of this on some other crops I have here. And I hope this gives you an idea of uh, a way, a different way to uh, make your tea, compost tea. Uh, by the way, I just want to point out one important thing that I have forgotten, and that is 
that there's absolutely no odor to this. You might think that this is going to have an offensive odor. There is a slight offensive odor in the container itself, but seeing that it's got a lid on it, you rarely even smell it. Even when you open the door on the drum, uh, very little offensive aroma comes out. So don't think that it's going to smell bad. It's no worse than any other of the compost. And uh, I think that you'll be very happy if you try this. Another thing is, I just want to show you, we talk about the compost soil that I make. This is all from leaves. This is just beautiful material. Uh, and this is not aged for a long period of time. We're talking maybe, at most, three months of making this uh, leaf compost. And uh, it's just magnificent, just magnificent. And there again, absolutely no offensive odor. No flies coming around here. That's another thing to point out is there's no flies that got near the uh, container even though there were larvae in there. There's no flies buzzing around at all. They're gone. Wherever they go, I don't know, but they don't hang around here. So have a good day and uh, come back and see us again. <music>